Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, I am going to show you how you can install the latest version of Golang in your Linux machine. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community and to get updates regard, regarding the content that I'm going to post, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, let me open my Kali machine here and let me go to the full screen. So the reason why I'm covering this topic. So generally we cover a topic like tools, uh, something like that. But the reason uh, why specifically I'm covering how to install the Golang go language that to the latest version is like like nowadays most of the tools like uh, bug bounty tools or whatever it is they are, are written in go language so installing the latest version of golang is necessary so some people might be saying like Sarpic go installing golang is simple like, like you can simply do sudo apt uh, install and golang but what happens is guys like when you run this command and the version that it is going to download is 1.10 something like that it's pretty old version but nowadays tools require some go language version which is more than 1.12 something like that so that's the reason uh, installing the latest version of golang is necessary and also guys you can try to do this on any machine so uh, you can do it on ubuntu whatever the machine whatever the linux machine and you can see i logged in as a normal user i'm not root anymore so how to install let's dive in so it's a simple steps guys just follow my instructions that's it uh, it's damn easy and uh, let me open my let's open my browser and uh, in my browser uh, in your browser just type for golang okay and uh, let me enlarge this a little bit you can see a website called as goes.dev so click on that so this is a thing so go is a kind of language guys so it's like java python whatever it is so nowadays most uh, hacking tools or whatever you can call are being written in this so that's the reason and you can see uh, let's click on download okay so in the download uh, you will find some uh, stuff here so you can download it on a uh, uh, window so if you want to try it on windows simple guys so just download this it's a microsoft installer just double click and you are done so linux is what we'll be doing so let me copy the link address okay and uh, or i'll just simply copy that i just click on that it will just download it for me so i'll save this file or you can do you can copy the url and you can do a wget or whatever it is so the size is 142 mb and also uh, if you go to the docs in the main side guys uh, if you click on docs here you can go to the installing go section and you can see they have given a proper uh, guide as well how to do and whatever it is so we'll just do that okay so let me go to the downloads and if i do an ls here you can see there is something like this so first of all let's uh, extract this so extracting is simple so tar okay uh, hyphen xjf and uh, mention the name so if it asks for the permissions denied whatever it is you can add sudo but uh, for this for extracting i think there is no need of sudo so if i do an ls you can see there is a folder here so which is go folder here so what we need to do is like we need to move this to some location like user local like uh, the reason why we are moving is like we'll be adding this particular go to our uh, uh, like like a normal tool like without even navigating to the directory like this downloads go you can simply exit from anywhere so let's move this thing so uh, sudo for this unit sudo mv uh, go okay to slash user and local uh, local okay and let me hit enter that and enter the password so if i go to something like if i do an ls slash uh, user and local you can see uh, i have a directory called as go here so what we need to do now is like we need to edit the bash rc file so we need to edit this so if you go back to here so right now we didn't uh, we have done all this so this step is like if you already have some go previous version of go that is how you need to do it so you are deleting the directory and then you are extracting it and putting in to user local and uh, you need to export this path okay so we'll add this to our profile or a bash rc file whatever it is so that is what we'll be doing so i'll be clicking on cd uh, okay so if i do an ls hyphen la you can see there is a file called as dot bash rc or whatever it is dot bash rc or dot jedis rc whatever it is so we need to edit that so sudo nano dot uh, bash rc okay and let me hit enter 
you can see you'll be getting a file like this guys so navigate to the bottom so sudo is necessary like uh, you cannot edit it as a normal user and uh, just copy this thing okay and just copy this and just paste it at the bottom so what happens is like uh, we'll be adding that particular location to the path so the reason path is like uh, like if you want to run an executable so executable or a shell file what we basically do is like we go to the location where it is located and then we put like bash and the file name right but if you add that location where that particular bash file or the script is available to the path like uh, you don't even need to navigate to the directory it runs like bash, like it runs like a command line option or argument or whatever command line tool or whatever it is so control s and control x and also add the same option to your dot jshrc file as well if i do an ls hyphen la once again you can see jshrc as well so if you are working on ubuntu or whatever it is so you need to edit this dot bash rc file okay but if you are uh, like like this particular session here opened is a jsh or uh, jsh session so let's edit that as well so sudo nano dot jsh uh, rc let me hit enter like just go back to the bottom and just paste the thing which you find like the, this is not even a big command guys like export and stuff that's it control s and control x and let me close this and let me open this once again so remember that's the step so if you are on wind uh, if you are on uh, ubuntu so most most probably you'll be having a bash shell but here in this kali i'm having a jsh1 so that's it so go uh, hyphen hyphen help if i go like that you can see uh, by default it is added to an option so if i run something like uh sorry a uh, go and version you can see it is to the latest version but if you install through the uh, apt then what happens is like you will be getting something like go 1.10 something like that so now what you can do is like you can go to some uh, tools like let's I'll, I'll tell you a small example so sub finder uh, so sub finder is a small tool so like you can see the uh, the example which i shown here will will definitely uh, work for you you can see like they mentioned something like uh, the version should be more than uh, 1.17 okay uh, requires 1.17 or more uh, or the latest versions but if you install through apt golang you will be getting an issue so that's the reason so copy this command and uh, paste it hit enter okay so it takes some time okay it's download it's downloading some other requirements or whatever it is okay so once you uh, once this tool is installed and if you do an ls i'll just wait guys because you can see it's a big tool subfinder if you don't know it's a kind of tool for uh, looking for subdomains uh, subdomain hunting or whatever if you do an ls you can see there is a directory called as go so if i go to the cd go and there is a directory subdirectory called as bin if I do an ls here, you can see there is a subfinder. So I can simply do subfinder hyphen hyphen help. Okay, so you can see you'll be getting tools. So one thing you can do is like uh, you can move this thing. So sudo move this subfinder to slash user slash bin. So what happens is like uh, let me do a Kali. Like even though if I'm in a different folder, I can simply run subfinder hyphen hyphen help so i can access it something like a command line thing so without even going to the look this location go slash bin so that's a different thing guys but uh, i think you had seen how you to install the go so i've sh shown you how you can install it on bash as well as dot jshrc so uh, in my case i have dot jshrc but uh, if some people might be using an older version of kali or some people might be using ubuntu or whatever it is which they will be having bash shell by default so in that case edit the dot bash rc file and if you have the jsh1 so uh, edit the dot jsh rc file and then you are good to go so that is it guys for this installation part so if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff this is Satvik signing off and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.